Hello everybody. I am going to try it again because my internet kept going in and out on my Wi-Fi. So I'm trying to use my data plan and maybe I have a better reception with this now. But I'm going to just reiterate what I already tried to do in the previous video. Um, but for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Tina. I am an education consultant and a health and wellness coach. And I just basically for those of you who are watching on the replay, please put hashtag replay so I can re so I can connect with you. Now, if you saw my description on my video, I'm asking you to think before you spray. Think before you spray. And you're probably saying, well, Tina, think before you spray what? Well, that what is DEET, D-E-E-T, which is like insect repellent or whatever like that. And for those of you who uh, was trying to watch my previous video, it kept cutting in and out. Hey! It kept cutting in and out, so that's why I'm trying to do it again, so that maybe you guys can see it without me cutting in and out. So, um, I did some research on it, and for those of you who do not know, I am from the South. Live in the South. Born and raised Southern. That's why you hear this Southern twang in my voice. <laughs> well, at any rate, um, our plight in the South is bugs. I mean, we always have bugs, like uh, all the kind of things that bite you and just irritate you. And, but with all that being said, a lot of people tend to use uh, what's common. Oh, thank you. Um, she said she liked my um, Southern twang. <laughs> well, at any rate, I and um, I really, when I found out all this information about what's in DEET, D E E T, which is basically um, bug or insect repellent, it I was floored about the things that we're putting on our bodies and how we can actually be harming ourselves because it's very, very toxic to the body. Now, let's talk a little bit about things that's inside. Alexandria, hey, let's think about stuff that's in DEET basically an array of different toxic chemicals are in there but did you know that every single year there are DEET or insect related sicknesses that occur in which people have to actually go to the hospital to receive treatment for I didn't know that you don't hear that on the news they have to literally go to the hospital to get treatment because of illnesses related to the insect repellent well, um, and, and last, I think it was in 2013, two people even died from having a um, DEET related death from just spraying it on them. Now, some people, mind you, this was a study on some people that actually um, ingested it, which I don't know why would they ingest uh, DEET for, but I don't know. But then, but think about this right here. You'll say, well, Tina, I'm not, that, don't, that wouldn't include me because I am not going to sit and drink no um, DEET or no insect repellent. Well, let me talk to you. Let me just break, break it down to you. If you spray it on your body, you might as well drink it, on, drink it um, orally because whatever we spray or put on our skin, skin is not a blocker for toxins and chemicals and bad stuff. It's actually a gateway to the inside of our bodies. So whatever we rub on our bodies from lotions or um, whatever we put on our skin, perfume or whatever, it is getting into our bloodstream. So even if you don't ingest it, it's still getting in there if you're spraying it on you. And the thing that shocked me the most is that the differences with how we do things in the United States versus other areas. Like for example, the, and I wanna make sure I do the name right, the American Academy of Pediatrics says that um, children or infants that's younger than two months old, they, you should not use DEET on them at all. Now, the same study was done in Canada and they said that you should not use DEET on ch children six months old to 12 years old if the product have more than 10% of DEET in it. So if you go to the store and it has 90% of whatever other chemicals they have and they have, t um, no, no, let's see if it have 85% of another whole lot of stuff you don't know what it is but it, it has at least 15 percent of DEET in it legally you don't supposed to use it on your skin in canada 
because it's it's not safe for consumption for I mean to put on the skin for six months old to 12 years old that's a broad area that's a broad area so think about this if they're not doing it over there why are we doing it over here think about that for a minute if like they used to say what's good for the goose is good for the gander well think about this if they're if they're having a alert kind of thing dealing with this deed we need to really pay attention to it because it could be harming us and doing stuff to us and we don't even know it so um this is what really shocked me about deets as well is that did you know that there are sicknesses like it can it has been known to cause seizures it has been known to cause slurred speech to put people in a coma i mean headaches nausea vomiting i was like what and don't even mention the skin the skin irritations people have really like just broken out from using this deet trying to avoid um the bugs and they're putting more harm on it but with all that being said is there any solution to or alternative to this chemical based product because nobody want to get bit up by no bugs or be annoyed by bugs when you're trying to have activities outside well the best thing i could tell you is this there are options it's yeah i don't know why they have it on the shelves i mean it should in my opinion it should be banned but i mean i'm not the authority over stuff like that that's why we have to do our due diligence and do the research behind it and just because it's on the shelf doesn't mean that it's safe for us we have to do the research and if we don't do the research and we use it then we kind of put it on ourselves but as a consumer we it, it, i feel like it should be their responsibility to make sure that this stuff is not like this but keep in mind we live in a capitalist uh economy so it's about that money <laughs> so that's why we have to do the research behind it but it just floored me on how terrible these toxins are and no one tells us about it we just see them on the beach or see them um camping with their family and spraying this spray looking so happy and we were like oh they're enjoying their camping trip with their family oh that stuff worked let me get me some of that you don't even think about all the little underlining things they're saying in the bottom of the commercial saying this could cause seizures possibly death we don't think about that so um one thing that you can do and what i have been doing is using this i have switched from using chemical based products to plant based products and i make my own insect repellent i also have purification as well but this is the main ingredient in um, purification that ward off uh bugs or insects and it's called citronella and it's a 15 milliliter bottle you get 15 milliliter for just 20 dollars that's it it's 20 dollars and it's not like you have to use this whole bottle let me show you how simple it is this is just a temple uh four ounce about four ounce um spray bottle that i use i bought from amazon i put the still water in it or you can use purified water whichever one you prefer please don't use tap water because tap water is just going to defeat the purpose because do the research uh tap water have so many chemicals in it from the things that people dump in the toilets um like some people dump pills and all kind of other chemicals in their toilets and then it gets inside the water system so it's really really paramount that you distill your water you boil your water first or you use purif purifier so that it'll clean some of that, that chlorine and all that yucky stuff out of your water so whatever type of water you decide to use whether it's purified or distilled water you can boil it yourself and let it cool down that's the cheap way i do that a lot and then after that you pour some of that water inside this bottle and you put 10 to 15 drops of this inside the bottle shake it up and then well i'm gonna spread them right now because i'm outside and let me tell you I don't like no bugs. <laughs> Nobody don't need. I don't have time for no um none of them um born illnesses from them little buggies. But anyway, and it's very very simple and inexpensive. This bottle, 15 milliliter, has about 300 between 250 to 300 drops 
and I use 10 to 15 drops per um, four ounce one because I like mine to be a little strong, but you can use half of that. You don't have to use as much as I do because this stuff is, is potent and it's very, very good, very high quality. So it takes a little bit. Um, yeah, tap water is the worst. Like, even if you start out with tap, you need to make sure you boil it and then cool it. But anyway, I just want to share those little tidbits with you about before you spray, think about it. Um, because we as parents, or if, even if you're not a parent, you don't want to put things on your body that can cause you harm later on. All these different birth defects and all this stuff that's happening now, it's a reason. Um, and a lot of it is due to the environment and stuff that we are putting in our bodies and on our skin. Remember, our skin is not a barrier for the outside elements. It's actually a gateway to what comes into our body. And what's absorbed on our skin goes into our bloodstream. And what goes in our bloodstream filters throughout our body. So it's a big chain of things that's happening that we just, if we think about it a little bit, we're like, wait a minute, that makes sense. Why nobody ever told me that in school? <laughs> so um, I just want to tell you this little tidbit about citronella. If you would like to get some of this citronella, you can just um, contact me and I will give you my website. Um, and you can just go purchase it directly from my website and they will ship it right to your home. Um, and if you want some more recipes, oh, you're welcome. If you need some recipes, um, cause it's more than just citronella. You can actually mix citronella and cedarwood together, which is a great combo against, um, them little pesky little things out there. Um, you can actually use purification, which is another amazing one. And the five milliliter bottle is like maybe between 10 to $15, but you have 85 to 95 drops in a five milliliter bottle. So you're getting your money's worth. You're, you're, it's plant-based, so it's safe. It's non-toxic. It's chemical-free. You're getting more bang for your buck because I'm a girl that I want stuff to be good, but I also need to not break the bank. And so I have been using these products for over 30 plus months, and I'm telling you, it has really surpass all my expectations i have used many essential oil companies before but this is by far the best one and they do what they say the products do exactly what they say so twenty dollars to save you a whole lot of heartache and pain <laughs> but anyway it seems as if my internet was working better using my data plan versus trying to use my wi-fi so now i'm gonna get off thank you so much for everyone who tuned in with me and i will see you guys tomorrow have a great rest of your day i hope your wednesday is going well hi um, mine is, I'm getting ready to just, my kids finished school early today. They did all their work super duper fast. So now I get to chill a little bit. Cause you know, I'm a homeschooling mom too. I was like, wow, y'all got done with your work that quick. <laughs> so now I'm going to have me a little R&R &R for myself. And you guys have a great rest of your day and tune in tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to talk about tomorrow, but I have a topic for you. See you guys tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.